Hello, hello friends. It's Danny here of Danny's Dreams. And I am stopping back by today to share a closer look at the dies that I re recently have purchased as I had a comment saying that they wish that they could see the dies. So I had some time, so we will share the dies. These are not all of the dies that I will be using. I do have some in my stash from years and years ago. And I also have another um, die set coming from My Favorite Things that held a gift card. But these are the ones that I recently got, so I thought I would share these. All the links to these will be in the description box below. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So let me get started here. If I can get it open here. So this is the St Sunny Studio build a tag die one and I really like these because you can interchange the tops there's a circle one you have these that cuts out the entire strip not just a part and they have two little parts that can go there so I really like that one okay I really like them all we know this now so that is sunny studio build a tag one my little cases for my dies I recently got off of Amazon. I'm really liking those to be able to share um, like when I do the videos. Oh, I should mention each video that I do for Tag A Day November, I will be showing the supplies that I use. So if there's a tag die that I have forgotten to use or, or show here, I will show it that day. So this is the Sunny Studio Build a Tag Die 2. Again, it has lots more toppers. It's more of that square. And then it has three different things um, to put like, I wanna say the eyelet hole, but I should get out my eyelets. I hadn't thought of that. So there's the Sunny Studio Build a Tag Die 2 that I recently got. And then I did get all of the Sunny Studio. There's four of them. There's mini mat and tag. So this is mini mat and tag one, mini mat and tag two. I like that it, this cuts this strip out and it's fun that they have these different borders. You could mix and match. And if you put it on a card or you could use it separately, it has these mini mats in it that you can use as well. So that's the one and two. And then here is the mini mat and tag three and four. And again, just super fun. I really like the little mats that come with them. And you can mix and match. This one I had a lot of fun with. You will see tomorrow. This is by My Favorite Things. And it's the Tag Builder Blueprints 5 die. There are so many options with this. You can mix and match. I have plans to maybe make a shaker tag out of it has lots of banners, lots of hearts. I believe it must have came out around Valentine's Day because it has those arrow dies, but you can use it anytime. Has the different, um, I call them eyelets holes, but like decorations for those. Really, really fun. And lots and lots of options there. And then this one, I like all the different shapes and also that it was layering. It's the Honey Bee Tag Builder. So, and it is kind of a misnomer, I guess. It doesn't really cut these scallops out, or at least I couldn't get it. I wonder if maybe I use a tan embossing mat, if maybe it would emboss them. But it just cuts out this part here. But there's those layering and lots of fun shapes to maybe kind of, you could add like this as an extra one on there. I don't know. Lots of options. So that's by Honey Bee, the tag builder. And then I did get this larger set because I thought there might be sometimes I want a larger die. And this is from Gina Marie Designs and it's the arch stitched tag. So lots and lots of layers and really big ones down to a, a little one. So there's the dies that I recently purchased. Again, everything will be linked in the description box below. I hope that that helps out who wanted to see them a little bit more closely. I'm sorry I meant to write down your name so I couldn't mention you, but I forgot it. So if you have any questions, again, let me know below. Also, 
as we go on each day, I will show the supplies that I use for each tag. So if I bring in any new ones or ones from my stash, you'll be able to see those as well. Thanks so much for stopping by. I will be back tomorrow with my first Tag-A-Day video. Talk to you later. Bye.